So how the heck can you build muscle and get shredded with no gym and no workout equipment? Today, I'm gonna show you my favorite methods for doing so, all from the comfort of your own home. Check it out. Now typically when you think of working out at home with absolutely no equipment, first thing that comes to mind, chin-ups, push-ups, sit-ups, those are cool, but they get boring after a while. So today I'm gonna to show you some cool variations and alterations you can make to your home workout in order to make them a little bit more enjoyable and also so that they're a bit more stimulating for muscular growth as well. So the first way that we can do this is by utilizing this technique called countdown repetitions. So if you know that you can get 15 push-ups, no problem, you get 15 push-ups on your first set. You rest between 20 or 30 seconds, however long you need to rest, and then directly after that, you're gonna get a set of about 14 reps. After you complete that, rest, and I recommend you rest as minimal as possible. You wanna push your body here. You don't wanna give yourself too much rest. And then after you're done that rest, go in for 13 reps, yada, 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 until you get to zero. The next suggestion is to apply calisthenics exercise or gymnastics type exercises, using your body weight to do some absolutely insane movements. Now, I don't care if you can bench 400, if you can squat 600, if you try and put these exercises to the test and you've never done them before, good luck. As you can see here, this is me trying to perform a couple of them. The handstand push-up, that is tough. I can shoulder press and I can bench press a fair amount. But when you put me upside down and I gotta push my body up from the ground, that's a whole other situation. My other example that I've got here, the L sit-ups, is pretty much just an isometric hold. You get your body up and you hold the position with your legs up and your body in about a 90 degree angle. Now, these exercises are going to be tough for, yes, the targeted muscles mostly, but there's so much stabilizing that your body's gonna have to do that's gonna incorporate a gang of other muscle groups and these are absolutely killer for shocking your system in a home workout without any equipment. All right, next. We're getting creative here and we're gonna be utilizing a deck of cards. Now pretty much how this thing goes is you kinda of wanna get through the whole deck. You might not be able to at first, so you might wanna just start with like 20 cards. Basically, a certain suit can represent a certain exercise. For example here, I got the seven of clubs. Basically, you choose the suit of cards to match a certain exercise. So let's say I got the clubs to represent burpees. I would have to perform burpees and I would have to perform seven repetitions of them. Now let's say I have the diamonds and I've chosen the diamonds to represent the exercise of being push-ups. Then in that case, I pull up the eight of diamonds, and guess what? I've got eight push-ups. And just as you would with regular cards, face values, jack would be 11, queen would be 12, and king would be 13. And a joker, you could just do that for any random exercise. Represent an exercise for a certain suit, start flipping through the cards, and you've come up with one crazy creative workout that you've probably never tried before. All right, last, and this one's one of my favorite for absolutely pushing myself each and every single week. What we're gonna do is we're gonna perform a circuit for time. So you're gonna choose about four to six exercises. here's my example right here, for a designated number of repetitions on each exercise. Your goal here, to complete the whole circuit in as short of a time as possible, while utilizing proper form and full range of motion. After you've completed the whole circuit as fast as you possibly can and you've gotten your time, your goal is to then repeat the circuit and try and get an even faster time. What I would recommend is you go through this whole circuit between two and three times. And on each round you're going through the full circuit, you're trying to set your absolute best time. Now you're gonna record all three times and you're gonna revisit the whole workout in a few days. Your goal, to beat each and every single time you were able to get going through the entire circuit. So there you guys go. There's a few creative techniques that you can adopt in your home workout routine that require absolutely no equipment. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, be sure to give it a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you won't wanna miss. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.